So, how many times have we heard that the swivel technique hurts your knee? Or that the swivel technique, it's a natural motion of the body, it's like something that comes naturally. So first of all, all the motions that we do are natural motions. And uh, unless your foot doesn't do like 360 degrees, well that's not natural, okay? But heel up, heel down, heel toe, they're all natural motions. Maybe people wanted to say that it's an instinctive motion, which it's the same for a leg motion or for other, every other motion that we, we do. And our job is to take advantage of these instinctive motions and educate them to become uh, controlled motions. So how do we learn to control this lateral motion and make it become from instinctive to controlled? First of all, we have to understand that this is an ankle motion. So we have to, as with all the other ankle motion technique, we have to isolate the ankle from the rest of the leg. Okay, so first of all, we have to make sure that our leg is not involved in the motion. And so we can start um, the first, very first step. It's going to be without pedals, without anything but our body. Okay, so we have to control our body first. We have to educate this motion from our body first. You can think of the motion pushing inside or outside, depending on how it's easier for you. After we did this, let's make sure that we don't push on the floor, that we don't press on the floor. Okay, and here the balance uh, has a big role. So let's make sure we keep the balance in the correct position and we just have to deal with the weight of our leg. So if I had a tennis ball under my foot, I wouldn't squash it while I, would, I was doing this exercise. Okay, it's just literally, my foot, it's laid, just literally laid on the floor. There's no pressing at all. Why is it dangerous to press the pedal on the floor um, or the foot on the floor? If we press, we give a lot of pressure to the knee, of course. And even if it's a little bit involved, it's still pressing down and having a rotation going. So that creates a lot of pressure to the knees and it's dangerous. Another good exercise that um, will help us to develop the swivel motion is to play one bar of heel up and one bar of swivel technique at, at the same speed uh, switching from one technique to another uh, so that we still we will keep the same feeling but we will control the pedal motion with the two different techniques so like this for example <laughs> 